Hello, boys and girls at home. I'm going to do a quick review lesson on using repeated addition to help solve multiplication equations. That's what we reviewed today in class. So I want you to have a look at this array right here. And I'm going to use this array as a model to show you how repeated addition helps you with multiplication. So when looking at this array, this array, you can build a multiplication equation as such. My first factor is going to tell me how many groups I have. That's my rows, how many rows I have. I have one, two, three, four, five, six rows. I'm going to go ahead and write my first factor here as six. Six rows of, well, how many is in each row? If I count my columns, that's going to tell me how many is in each row. I have three in each row. And that will give me a product of 18. Well, let's say I did not have, I did, I, I did not have an array to help me solve this problem, and I wanted to use a different strategy. That strategy being repeated addition. I just want to show you how repeated addition works. So looking at this array, I can also get 18 by adding three, adding the number three six times. As you can see here in the array, I have six rows of three. I'm going to label the rows as such. If I add all of these threes together, it will also give me 18. And I'm going to write that here. That's four. I need six, six rows of three. That's going to be shown here on my problem as well. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that also gives me 18. So that is three plus three is six, plus three more is nine, plus three more is 12 plus three more is 15 getting closer plus three more is 18 so let's look at this again let's look at the strategy again so I'm gonna go ahead and just show you a multiplication equation here and building arrays and making equal groups can sometimes be time consuming so instead, I can use repeated addition to solve this problem. So I can look at this and know that if I wanted to use repeated addition, I would need six fours. I would need to add six fours. I need to have six groups of four, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six groups of four, and I would add all these fours together, and that would also give me the product to my multiplication problem. So I could say four plus four is eight, plus four more is 12, right? Plus four more is 16, plus four more is 20, and plus four more is 20. Four. That equals 24. If that equals 24, well, so does 6 times 4. Let's do that one more time. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to look at this next problem here. Say that I wanted to use repeated addition instead of drawing a picture, drawing a model. So what I could do is know that I need three groups of eight. If I had three groups of eight together, eight plus eight plus eight, that will give me not only the answer to this addition sentence, but also my product here which is the answer to my multiplication equation. So eight plus eight is 16. 
plus eight more is 24. Eight more is 24. All right, let's try that one more time. If I looked at this problem three times six and I wanted to find the answer to three times six, or let's actually do nine times three. If I had nine times three and I wanted to find the answer to that, I know I can use repeated addition. But I wanna show you something else. Let's say I could I could I could flip flop lollipop these factors because of the rule of commutative property. Now making nine groups of three would be a lot. I could use this method, but it's still a lot. I can add three nine times. There's four, five, six, seven eight, nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Do you see what I just did there? I double checked. I double checked my sentence to make sure I had nine groups of three. Good mathematicians, great mathematicians always double check their work. Remember that. So I could add all of these threes together to get my answer just a lot. Um, or if I look at this through the lens of commutative property and I flip flop my factor to look like this, now that shows me three groups of nine. That's a simpler, simpler addition equation here. Nine plus nine is 18 plus nine more is 27. If you ever get stuck on your adding, remember to add on. Do your doubles first. 9 plus 9 is 18. Add on 9. So I would go 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. There's my 9. Here's my 9. And I got 27. And this up here is also 27. Meaning nine times three is 27 as well, because three times nine is 27. And the rule of community property means I can flip flop my factors around and I would get the same product. So I just wanted to show you that because you can simplify your repeated addition sentences if you use commutative property.